Good morning, guys. Now, since traditions, I've had, I was straight into training pretty much, and I've been having different kind of training days every single day. I've not actually been training on my attraction yet, um, but I have found out what my attraction is going to be, and I've been around the location. And I can announce that I will be working on the Haunted Mansion. So I will be on the Haunted Mansion for the next coming, what's it, seven weeks or so. Um, I actually go into training day tomorrow, which is the first day that I'll be wearing my costume. I do actually have my costume. I uh, got it from costuming the other day. And I've not tried it on fully. I tried the shirt and things on without the tailcoat. So I'm looking forward to getting it all on tomorrow. But today is my first full day off in between training, like I said. So today, I'm going to Animal Kingdom. I've not been there since they built Pandora. So this is going to be a complete new experience for me. Um, I've, I've tried to keep away from Pandora, watching videos and seeing photos and things as much as I possibly can. <coughs> Excuse me. Just to try and make this experience as new and as real as it can be for me. Heading to Commons now because I just want to head to the shop beforehand to grab a drink because the bus is not going to be for another 10 minutes or so anyway. We made it! So I'm inside Animal Kingdom now. Like I said, I'm going to meet up with Lisa. She's also with some friends of hers. I'm not too sure if I've met them before, but um, I'm going to meet them now anyway. So we're heading up there. She's near Festival Lion King at the moment in time. So that's where I'm heading to first. And I kind of want to get to Pandora as soon as possible. Just because it's somewhere that I've never been before. Somewhere brand new, but I also want to ride. Expedition Everest. We'll see which one we get to first. Look at that. I've forgotten how like huge, humongous and gorgeous the Tree of Life actually is. Oh wow, just seeing it again is just breathtaking. This is so exciting. We are here at Rafiki's Planet Watch guys. Let's take a picture with graffiti. Graffiti, graffiti. And my dad and I thought it was the funniest thing that we had ever seen. There's a donkey in the operating room. Oh, I hope he's okay. Station area, which is the building you're standing in, as well as out in our affection section area. This is Jack, he is one of our Sicilian miniature donkeys. Uh, this is Maria and Mike and Adriel, they are also keepers on our team. Adriel is actually uh, brand new to our team. Maria, Mike, and I, then, we're on our donkey hoof team, so she's shadowing some of the fun tasks that we get to have. Um, what we do for our donkeys, we have two of them, so if you haven't already been outside, you can check out Jill, who is Jack's roommate. Um, she's hanging out in the affection section area while we have Jack visiting us here in the back window. Um, what you're going to notice that we're going to start doing is um, these animals based on their name. I said they're Sicilian, so they're Mediterranean. We are used to a dry, kind of desertish environment. Um, any of you guys from Florida? Nobody's from Florida. Any of you guys been here when it rains? Florida is not yeah. the driest, most arid environment. So when you have an animal that's used to a dry environment that you bring into a very wet, humid environment, um, there's going to be trade-offs. So one of the trade-offs we have for them is that we really have to pay attention to their hoof health. Um, we call the, obviously, the, the food on a horse is referred to as hooves. Um, so what we do is once a week, we bring one of our donkeys in here and we really in-depth look at their hoof health. Um, so today is Jack, and next Monday will be Jill, and then the following Monday will be Jack, and then Jill. Um, we tend to focus on two hooves at a time. So Jack was okay, just getting his hooves cleaned out and trimmed down and things. There are a couple of meet and greets inside here as well. We have Rafiki over here, which I kind of want to get my photo taken with in just a moment. There we go, Rafiki over there. And dunk the stuff in on this side. Obviously, because it's the animal hospital with the donkeys over there, we have dunk the stuff in. Treating the animals. Yay! So we just made it to Yak and Yeti for lunch. I just got the chicken fried rice side. Heard it's really, really good, so I'm gonna dig in, give it a taste. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, so Yak and Yeti review is really good. The rice was, the fried rice was only $5. So if you're looking for a quick snack, something different to burgers and things as well, I definitely recommend that. But now, we are headed to Mount Everest. We're going on an expedition. Mount that is Mount Everest. Yeah, we're not going on it yet. Why not? I thought we were going on the dinosaur. Well, okay, we'll go dinosaur then. I don't mind. We can do expedition Everest. It is my favourite road. Okay. Well, it's. I don't mind. I'm just like following around at the minute, so I'll go wherever. But all right, heading to dinosaur then. Apparently. Kind of stay to your left. You will be separated. Thank you. All right, so we are going on an expedition Everest now. We're going to single rider line now. It's, only, it's like a 55 minute wait for the regular line up. So we're going to go single rider just to get on faster and get through and then head to Dinosaur. <laughs> so on the way to Dinosaur, we decided to go on a line even well instead. Because the T-Rex has such little arms, so cool. you can't do a lot of arm work, right? OMG! What is this? It's launch pad! It's so cool! There's just all the characters out today. All the ducks! Look at Scrooge! Scrooge! Here we go, so this is the first experience I'm having of Pandora. Where's the map? To the Valley of Morara. Is that it? I don't even know. I've not looked into any of this, so I don't know. I don't really know anything about it. Wow. Jeez. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, like we were saying, I remember when I came and this was still this all like structure, this metal yeah, structure. I, I remember seeing the rocks. Yeah. Cool. And it was literally to start just start a building. Wow, that is insane. I know it probably doesn't look anything on the camera the way it does in person, but wow. Definitely want to come at night time because like all these things light up at night so the entire area is just lit up and I'm sure it's just going to look so much better at night time even though it looks amazing now definitely need to come at night This is so cool That is awesome They're like I'm guessing like pressure sensitive drums which of sound effects which sound like drums but aren't. I want to bang that giant drum up there. That's what I want. <laughs> I think we're going to try for the river, river journey in a minute. It's an 85 minute wait time uh, but Flight of Passage is currently a 120 minute wait time so I don't really want to be waiting two hours. I mean at some point I will but we will have to be leaving a little bit later on, people were planning to go to the cinemas to finally see The Incredibles 2. But for now, this is just insane. Look at this. Like, I need to go on at least one ride, so probably River Journey and 85 minute wait is a good call. This is insane. Wow. 
So we did get on the Rivers of Light. It was a really great ride actually. Is that it's a Navi River? Navi River. Rivers of Light is the lake shore animal. I know, that's right, yeah. <laughs> See, I don't know, I've never been. My this first... thing gets cold. <laughs> no, I'm just screwing it, it's staying in there. <laughs> anyway, we went to the, the, the boat River ride. Journey. The boat ride. Navi River Journey. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we were on Navi River Journey, which we queued for about 60 minutes. The wait time said 85, so I think that's quite good. Um, it was pretty good. The animatronics were amazing. It was great, yeah. yeah but it wasn't like, I don't know, it wasn't amazing. Yeah, it was, it was a standard boat ride, Yeah. except the animatronic was amazing. I could just sit, sit and watch that for like the entire loop. Yeah. It probably does just to see see it move, but it does, it was gorgeous. And I'm a bit of a nerd like that, so I like that kind of stuff. Um, are we going the right way? I didn't even look at the board. The buses are over that way. We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. But yeah, it was really, really good. I uh, probably wouldn't wait that amount of time again for it though. Probably get fast passes or go when it's quieter. Yeah. Um, but we're just heading to down. Uh, downtown Disney? Saying downtown Disney. Disney Springs. It's downtown Disney to me. <laughs> we're heading to Disney Springs. Um, this vlog is just going downhill. <laughs> heading to Disney Springs because uh, everyone's going to watch Incredibles 2 finally tonight. I've got to be up, up at like 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Disney Springs anyway and, meet, and see everyone. And once they go to the movie, I'm going to go home and sleep. So I am back at housing now. We did actually go to Disney Springs, um, but I didn't film anything there just because um, as soon as we got there, everyone else arrived and went to, straight to the cinema to get their tickets to see Incredibles 2. Uh, as I said, I'm not going because I need to be up at like 3.45 in the morning and the movie probably won't finish until around 10 p.m. So I really don't want to be staying out that late and only getting like a few hours sleep. So being the good boy that I am, I'm gonna get an earlier-ish night. I mean, it's it's 20 to nine now, so if I can get showered, get everything ready for the morning, get to bed, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, get a good almost seven hours sleep, which should be good enough uh, to start my first day in costume at the Haunted Mansion. So thank you guys so much for watching again. Pardon me. Remember to stay tuned, like and subscribe. I feel like this vlog has just gone so bad today. I'm so sorry for you guys watching this. If you've got to the end at least, anyway. Um, but yeah, again, thanks for watching guys. And as always, I'll see you real soon.